Old Detroit was destroyed in the first Robotech War. However, the tradition of industrial manufacturing continued in the city of New Detroit, rebuilt by the RDF during its days of restoration. New Detroit became the major production center of protoculture cells and mecha construction, as well as the major city of the Midwest. It continued to produce mecha and hardware for the armies of the Southern Cross, and escaped the Second Robotech War with comparatively minimal damage, but then was ravaged and destroyed again by the Invid in the Third Robotech War. Today's New Detroit is a shambles, its industrial complexes and skyscrapers mashed into ruins by the Invid. A few of the newer, better constructed buildings still survive. Although battered and mangled, they include the new Penobscot Tower, the Fox Theater, and the glittering Renaissance Center Shopping Office Mall. Huge mounds of rubble, once majestic 21st century constructs, block a tangle of roads, streets, and 20th century railways. Less than 5,000 people reside here, not including a few hundred nomads and travelers who stay for a while to find, trade, or steal what they can, and then move on to their next destination. Through some quirk of fate, about 70% of the survivors who are permanent residents of the city are under the age of 30. Perhaps it is the resilience of youth that prevents them from giving up and fuels the dreams of one of North America's last remaining freedom fighter undergrounds. Bandits are also a fact of life. They are not as common in the city proper as they are in the outlying areas, but they harass and attack any who look unable to defend themselves. They rarely kill their unfortunate victims, but that does not make them any less dangerous. Despite Detroit's tragic history, the city has managed to maintain a strange level of technology. Those who live in the city are used to making do with what they have, scavenging a few relics of the past like flashlights, batteries, finely preserved army knives, or sometimes even a functional vehicle from the past 40 years. Storage tanks of gasoline and other petroleum products are plentiful if one knows where to look for them. A handful of turn-of-the-century factories and tiny workshops have been restored and can create and repair a number of things, from common household items to metal products. The river still offers a great means of transportation, as well as a place to hide contraband from the Invid, and the dozens of sailing and motorboats, rafts, and barges that dot our shores attest to this.